Oh, baby. <laughs> Fred's here. My youngest son, Dwayne, from Pennsylvania, came down to Clearwater and spent a couple days fishing with his brother Tom and myself. On the first morning here, Tom and Dwayne, that is my youngest son, decided to hit Clearwater. Uh, I showed up about an hour later and wanted to see how they were doing. Ah. Uh. Oh. Hey, 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 you know, I figured I'd better. <laughs> I don't want to see his get skunked. They inform me there wasn't a lot happening so far. Since Dwayne only comes down about once a year, we were really hoping for a good day today for the first day. But it just wasn't happening. Yeah, you ain't kidding. <laughs> I think it was a ladyfish, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was a lady. Yeah, I think it was a ladyfish. Yeah. We were catching the regular stuff on a slow day. Ladyfish, small trout, and I think a small red here and there. But uh, nothing exciting. What's the matter? Really? Really? It's times like this that make you realize how fast the years go by. But we are thankful that every now and then we could all get together, enjoy each other's company. Since it was such a slow day, we decided that uh, the best thing to do would be to wrap it up, let Dwayne join his family down on the beach, enjoy some vacation time. Uh, we knew we'd be going out again a couple of times before his trip was over. Little did we know at that time how much fun we were going to squeeze in in seven days. On the second trip out, Dwayne and I headed out to Honeymoon Island. Unfortunately, Tom couldn't make the trip because he had too much going on at work. Dwayne's on the fish. Little Jack. Once again, the day was starting off pretty slow, but luckily it would get a little better. We were dealing with the east wind that was blowing a lot of floating grass in the water, making it very difficult to get a complete cast. This is gonna be a red, I think. Right by the kayak. Right by the kayak. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, after a couple hours of not catching much, Dwayne and I get a double hookup of redfish.
Oh yeah, Dwayne's on too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Nah, don't pick it up. This is probably bigger than mine. Yep. Oh, a nice fish, Dwayne. Nice red. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Ready to That was a big red. That was a big red. I know. I thought you were snagged going around in circles. <laughs> we finished the day with Dwayne losing a really big redfish. On our final day of fishing, we headed out to Caladesi Island. This is where things would get a lot better and a lot more exciting. Uh, Dwayne and I launched and Tom was going to meet us out there about an hour later. That's a jack. Try to get him out of there. Yeah. And it might be a snook. Oh, no. oh alright. You can't get me hitting that again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, totally I knew I had a good hit that time. <laughs> it was funny, it's the first time I cast it up there. Just a picture out. Okay. Oh, shit. I got my pedals up so you can get stuck around. Whoa. <laughs> Over the back. Who we thought. <laughs> oh. oh, this would be the last lost fish, fish trip. <laughs> Next, Wayne hooks up with the snow. Nice. All right. Cal, you got a slam. You got a slam. Next, Dwayne hooks up with the trout. Nice. All right. All right. There's Dwayne with the slam. Yep. I seen him go in 10 yards already and get him. I saw that thing jump. <laughs> All right. All right. 
right, Tom's on to the big snook. And the fight is on. Top water Tommy against the snook. And ship to keep this guy from getting into the mangroves. Yeah, he's got him. I got my measure board here. Three, four, exactly. <laughs> like that a week went flying by but at least on Dwayne's last day of vacation we caught a lot of fish and we had a really good time already looking forward to next year thanks for watching